uh, active shooting going on at this time. Activate the citywide uh, rapid response unit. From celebration to chaos. It was very scary to see all of them people laying down on the ground like that in fear of their lives. A crowded festival to celebrate the end of the Muslim holy month of Ramadan was interrupted by a shootout between two groups in Philadelphia's Parkside neighborhood. Everybody just running and frantic. You know, everybody, the kids, people's strollers getting turned over, everybody screaming. Tents and picnics abandoned and toppled over in the park shows the panic when the gunfire rang out this afternoon. Once again, we have young people engaging in gunfire who, who just really destroyed the same thing what happened. Wednesday night and the big story on Action News is a religious event rocked by violence and now a crime scene. At least 30 gunshots rang out in the middle of the Eid al-Fitr celebration. Right now we know two people were shot and injured in the crossfire. A 15-year-old boy was shot by a police officer and was reportedly carrying an assault rifle. All of the people shot are in stable condition. Police also have four people in custody. All of this happening near the Philadelphia Majid and Clara Muhammad Square at the intersection of Girard Avenue, 48th Street and Lancaster Avenue. We have live team coverage tonight and let's begin with Action News reporter Caroline Goggin at police headquarters with the latest on the investigation. Caroline. Well, Rick, Philadelphia police officers were on the scene for hours this afternoon, assisted by members of the ATF and the FBI. Tonight, we know their investigation is still underway. Five people are in custody, and members of the Muslim community here in the city of Philadelphia, they are trying to make sense of this violence. It was supposed to be an afternoon of celebration. The last day of the year for um, all of our Muslim sisters and brothers to come together. But this park in Parkside turned into a crime scene when gunfire erupted as a thousand people were gathered to mark the end of Ramadan. I just was scared. We were celebrating our religion and they took advantage of it. We just saw a bunch of people running, you know, women, kids. Well, being trampled over. Philadelphia police say it happened around 2.30 this afternoon. Two groups exchanged gunfire in the park at 47th and Wyalusing Avenue. A police detail was already assigned to the event. At some point, they hear a large volley of, of gunfire. They say approximately 30 gunshots. Police say a 22-year-old man was shot in the stomach and a 15-year-old boy was struck in the finger. At that same time, we had one of our officers who was assigned to the area engage a 15-year-old male who has a weapon. She fires and that male is, receives a gunshot to his shoulder and his leg. That teen was taken to the hospital and is now in custody. Sources tell Action News this is the assault rifle he had on him at the time. It is one of five weapons recovered today. Police tell us four other people were taken into custody at the scene. Amid the chaos, the police commissioner says a police cruiser struck a 15 year old girl who suffered a fractured leg. Clearly we send our prayers out to her and her family. That is not our intended purpose. Crime scene tapes surrounded the park for hours this afternoon as police investigated. People's belongings littered the ground, their strollers left behind, all evidence of a chaotic and violent afternoon in the city. We have to do more as a city, as a community to come together, you know, to stop this because it's madness. Tonight, we know the three people who were shot are in stable condition. The five people in custody range in age from 15 years old to 21 years old. And the officer who discharged her weapon this afternoon, she is now on administrative duty pending the outcome of the investigation. We have learned that she works in the 18th district. She's been on the force since 2018. And as Philadelphia police continue to investigate this crime, they're asking anyone at home with information to give them a call. That is the latest live outside of Philadelphia Police Headquarters. I'm Caroline Goggin, Channel 6 Action News. Rick. Caroline, thank you. Let's go now to reporter Leland Pender, who's live at Penn Presbyterian Hospital in University City, where one of the victims is being treated at this hour. Leland. Yeah, Rick, that man, 22 years old, will need surgery after being shot in the stomach. According to his family, he was just one of two innocent bystanders caught in the crossfire earlier today. Um, my brother got shot. Rodson McNeil's brother, Nishan Richards, 22, was one of the innocent people shot today. I'm in shock. It happened when gunfire erupted during an Ayid al Fitr celebration at 47th and Wild Lusink. The victim's cousin says he was shot in the stomach as he tried to run away. We applied pressure and they put him right in the cop car and drove him here. Here to Penn Presbyterian Hospital. Got to do better as well. Outside, the victim's father upset. 
This is supposed to be a safe haven and people to feel safe. And I'm just tired of all the violence and the nonsense that's going on. My son was an innocent bystander. Another innocent bystander, a 15-year-old boy shot in the hand, was taken by paramedics to Children's Hospital of Philadelphia, according to police. It was very scary to see all of them people laying down on the ground like that in fear of their lives. According to police, two groups opened fire on each other. Five people between 15 and 21 now in custody. According to our 6 ABC data journalism team, just in 2024, there have been 266 shooting victims in Philadelphia. Of those, 30 are under 18. It's stupid and it's nonsense. People's lives is priceless. Appreciate and value your life. Police are now investigating why this happened and why it happened at this event, which is typically a joyous occasion for those who celebrate. We're still to be happy. This is a happy moment but it's not so happy now. Yeah, that event just marred by the violence today and tonight police are saying both of those innocent bystanders are in stable condition and are expected to be OK. Live in University City, Leland Pender, Channel 6 Action News. Rick. All right, Leland, thank you. We will continue to update the story on air and online as we get more information. You can also download the 6ABC app for all of the details as well as push alerts to breaking news.